Hello everyone. Today I want to show you how you can split shape keys, for example, for face expressions into the left and right side. There are different techniques. I'm not going to go over all of them. I'm going to explain one, which I would not recommend. Then I'm going to show you one which only works within Blender, but not an export. And then the one that I think works best. Then I will also show you one tool which can help you to do it very fast. I will put chapters in a timeline which you can go to. So if you want to skip ahead to the best method, then please do so. So the first method that you could do is you could make shape key for just one side of the face, for example, for the left side, and then duplicate that shape key. And if you click on this little drop down here, this is option mirror shape key or mirror shape key topology. You would just select whichever works for you. Sometimes it breaks, sometimes it works. That's... It's not perfect. It's a lot of work. It's very tedious. You can do it. Wouldn't recommend it though. So the first technique that I want to show you, which will only work within Blender, is using vertex group. If you have any shape key selected, you can see that there's this vertex group option. And um, so I've gone ahead and painted vertex groups for the left and right side of the face. If you name them like this, uh, .l and .r, and then have a mirror vertex group active, then you will only have to paint one side of the face and it's going to um, automatically fill in the other one. And now if you go down to this vertex group option and you select, um, for example, face L, you can see that it only affects the left side. What's very important to note is that on export, those vertex groups kind of get ignored or deleted. I don't know exactly what happened, but I noticed that it doesn't work in Unity. It doesn't work when you export it. And so if you wanted to have your model only in Blender, then that is perfectly fine. And it's the fastest way to do it because you will only have to do the vertex groups once and then you just duplicate your uh, your shape key and set the vertex groups correctly and you're done. But it only works in Blender. So the second technique that I want to show you, first of all, create your shape key with both sides together like i've done here um so how you create a shape key is pretty easy you just you either set the weight to one on one shape key or you to be safe just click this little pin here you go into edit mode and you make some changes to to the mesh um say if i were to grab this here and pull it up and then there's different um, mirror options up here just check if the current mirror that you have works Sometimes topology mirror works better, sometimes it doesn't. Um, so in this case, it didn't work, so I'm gonna turn it off and say I would do this. This is not the right shaky, but just for example. And now you can see this This works. So that's how you make a shape key for both sides. And once you have done that, once you have your shape key, and you want to split it up. So you create a new shape key. I call it i.blink.l, for example. And then um, you go into edit mode and you select only half of the face. I'm going to select the left side of the face because that's the one I currently want to do. And then if you click on vertex, there's this option blend from shape. It's the same menu if you click control V, there's also the vertex menu, blend from shape. What you can do now is in here, you can select a certain shape. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to select the blink and I'm going to turn off the add option Sometimes it causes problems, so just make sure it's turned off and the blend is set to one. That is exactly what I want. And as you can see, now it is only doing the left side, but the right side stays open. And if I want to repeat that for the other side, I'm going to create a new shape key, i.blink.r. And instead of now reselecting, I can just hit Control i to invert the selection, which will automatically just select the other side of the face. Also the body, but that doesn't really matter since we only care for the face here. And then I'm going to blend from shape. All make still has the blink in here. If you want to be quick with this, just make sure that you do the left and right side from the same shape key, one after another. And there we go. That's how you can quickly create the separation for left and right. Now, if you have as many shape keys as I do here, you can see that this is almost 200 shape keys. Not all of them have to be split up, but it will be a lot of work nonetheless. There are add-ons out there which help you do that as well. Download and activate this add-on here called Lazy Shape Keys. If I just turn it on, it will change the view a little bit. It has more options than just uh, the separation, but um, that's what I'm mostly going to use it for. The link will be in the description. And um, if I now select the Shape Key, where which has both sides in here, in a drop-down menu, there's a new section, 
And here there's this option separate shape keys left, right. And if I click that, then it's going to do the exact same thing. It's going to create new shape keys for the right and the left side. This one, of course, is the fastest version. So um, I think if you just want to have, if you just have a couple shape keys, you don't really need to download this add-on. But in long term, I think um, it makes sense to save a lot of time. So that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it helpful. If you liked it, leave a like. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments. I'll make sure to answer all of them. And if you have more questions to different topics, then feel free to join the Discord. Link is in the description. Also to all my other social media, if you want to check that out. Please subscribe if you like more of this content. It really, really helps me out. I wish you a wonderful time making all your shape keys. And I hope you don't have to do as many as I will have to do. Happy blendering!